Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice math problem involving square root? From what is given here, let's take the square on both sides. Then we have square root of 12 raised to power x minus 16 raised to power x. Then all square equals to this side we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all square as well then on this side the square here we cancel the square root then we have 12 raised to power x minus 16 raised to power x equals to this side we still have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x then 4 raised to power 2 then here we can write 12 as 3 times 4 then all raised to power x then minus here as well 16 can be written as 4 times 4 then raised to power x then equals to here we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x then all square then from here what we have this power will affect these numbers here so we have 3 raised to power x times 4 raised to power x then minus same here we have 4 raised to power x times 4 raised to power x then equals to here we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x then 3 raised to power 2 and on the left hand side here we have 4 raised to power x common then we factor it out 4 raised to power x into bracket 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x left here which is equal to here we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all square then let's take everything to one side and uh, we take this to this side and this becomes we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x all square then minus 4 raised to power x into bracket 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x then equals to 0 now then what we have here we have this also means 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x multiply itself. So we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x common. Now we take it out. Here we have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x. Then out. What we will be left here is 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x. Then what we will be left here will be minus 4 raised to power x. Which is now equals to 0 on this side. Then from here, this can be written as 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x. Then into bracket, here we have 3 raised to power x minus 2 times 4 raised to power x. Then equals to 0 from here. Then here we have two possible cases. We have 3 raised to power x minus 4 raised to power x equals to 0. Or we have 3 raised to power x minus 2 times 4 raised to power x equals to 0 from here. Then we have 3 raised to power x here. Then equals to, when we take this here, we have 4 raised to power x. Then solving this here. Let's define both side by 4 raised to power x and this side by 4 raised to power x. Then this cancel out here, this become 1 here. Then here we have 3 raised to power x over 4 raised to power x now equals to 1. Then from here, when we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n, this same thing as a over b or raised to power n that is this becomes 3 over 4 or raised to power x 
now equals to 1. And also anything raised to power 0 is 1. So when we have a raised to power 0, that's 1. Then we can write this as 3 over 4 raised to power x. Now equals to 3 over 4 raised to power 0. Then we have same base here. Then here we quit the power. Then x equals to 0 from here. And also solving for x on this side, we can take minus 2 times 4 raised to power x to the other side, and this becomes 3 raised to power x equals to 2 times 4 raised to power x. Then also divide both sides by 4 raised to power x here. Yeah. Then 4 raised to power x cancel out here, we mean 2. Then also applying the law of indices, we have 3 over 4, 4 raised to power x here, yeah. then equals to 2 on this side. Then from here, we can take the log on both sides. So we have log 3 over 4, 4 raised to power x equals to log 2. Then from the power law of logarithm, then we have log n raised to power p, this is also p, log m. Then when we apply this to what we have, then x log 3 over 4 is now equals to log 2. Then we can divide both sides by log 3 over 4, so we have divide by log 3 over 4 here. Yeah. And also divide by log 3 over 4 here. Then this cancel out, it means x, which is equal to log 2 over log 3, then over 4 here. Then we can bring this together from change of base. When we have log a over log b. We have the same thing as log a to base b. So when we apply this to what we have, then here we have x now equals to log 2 to base 3 over 4. So we have another solution for this given problem here, which is x equals to log 2 to be 3 over 4 and thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on see you next class and bye for now